Hi, welcome to Main Street Macro. I'm Neela Richardson. What do used cars, hotel stays, and airfares have in common? Well, if you said that they are all key parts of your summer vacation, uh, that's part of the answer. But another answer is that they all saw price surges last month. And so when we think about inflation over the next few months, there are three relationships that we're really keeping an eye on. Relationship number one is the relationship between economic growth and inflation. So yes, you need a little bit of infl inflation in to have really solid economic growth. Think of inflation as the salt to your pot of soup, right? If you have too little salt, the broth isn't very flavorful. Too much salt, the broth is inedible. Well, inflation is like that for the US economy. You need a little bit to make sure that wages and prices continue to grow. And we've seen as there has been an economic recovery, there has been a pickup in inflation and that's for a good reason. Now, the second trend that we're watching, that second relationship, is between supply and inflation. COVID-19 was a hit both to supply and demand. But in the recovery, what we're seeing is supply shortages over a variety of goods and services. We're seeing supply shortages in semiconductors. We've seen it in lumber. We've even seen it in labor and labor shortages more recently. And so the question is, will the supply shortages lead to a pickup or a surge in inflation. Our view is that right now, these supply shortages look temporary and are likely continue to ease as the economy and the global economy comes back online. Now, the third relationship we're watching is that relationship between inflation and wages. And this is one of the most important because that wage push inflation is what determines whether in the inflation spikes we're seeing are temporary or more more durable and permanent. So far, we haven't seen a big pickup in wages that would even suggest that we were heading towards a, a continuing inflation or even hyperinflation. And again, we think that as health conditions improve and more people get back to work, we'll see some of the wage pressures tied to labor shortages start to ease. So right now, these relationships look healthy to us and part of a recovering post-pandemic economy. Thank you for watching the Main Street Macro blog this week. For more insights on our week ahead, please go to adpri.org.